All right, we're going to try this again and see if I can get this in here. I can't do the fancy schmancies, I guess. I don't know. They just blocked me and blocked you guys. And I don't know. I think it might have been the way that I started the video again. I have that Atilio thing, and it said it, the, the notice that I get got was it was blocking 249 locations. And I, you guys were trying to probably comment if you're here say hello welcome to the broadcast we got kind of thrown off there of facebook we're here live on facebook uh my name is atilio with theater magic i'm inside the great magic hall and uh hey guys hey welcome back thanks for coming back guys i just i was in into it did you guys see any of the routines i'm going to delete the other video but i showed Watch a video that I had earlier. I edited this one, but basically it was about the Patrick Kuhn video and the, the worker series that I wanted to do. Would you guys be interested in that? I'm going to find, like, you know, you guys can put in suggestions, but I'm going to look and try to find effects that we can all learn together. Basically, I have the, like, the video that you can get right the dvd it's not theater magic it's a special artist and then hey earl from jacksonville thanks for coming in good to have you malcolm good to see you jim thanks for coming back i was texting jim i'm like what do you think it was and, and he said it might have been the trailer so it might have been but it, i think it might have been like i use a lot of the same way of opening and i i don't know i i'm clueless to this i i could try to maybe do something like what I did and and see if it happens again but I basically showed the time before the video called invisible hands and this I'm going to post it again on Facebook by itself as an edited version so you'll see it and it's going to have its own little trailer but right now I'm using the the theater magic live trailer and a lot of the shows that we want to present you know like uh spy before you buy um the show and tell magician uh historical i have i have this trailer this trailer is good um i've got to get the trailer for the fitzky files i have this trailer uh secret agenda I want to get this trailer really bad because I have some great artists lined up and I want to have them on the show. So another thing that I'm planning on doing is called a workers series. Now these are routines that I believe would be really good workers that don't involve a lot of props that you have to buy. If it has props, then it's going to be something that we all really want to do. And basically, if you get the product, it comes with the workshop, right? So you get the product, it comes to your door, you learn the effect, if you have any questions, just email me or text me, message me, just message me better than email. And then I might ask you to send me a video to make it clear, blah, blah, blah. But after maybe a couple weeks later, after everybody's received it, we have a deadline, you can't get it anymore at this point. It's all shipped out, everybody gets one. And then you have a couple weeks with it. So I maybe we'll get together and do like a, we'll watch the routine together. I'll go over some things that you might wanna consider. We'll have a workshop where we get together, we watch the video together and we basically, I, I give you some tips to start the practice session. And I basically have it broken down of how you, you compartmentalize your practicing. And then after a period, maybe two weeks later, we have another workshop. And that workshop, you've taken the information that I've given you, you have the DVD, and you've been working with it. And so now, you, you kind of might have some questions. At that point, you might have some areas that, that are a little rough, and you want to smooth it out. You want to feel more confident, more comfortable, more relaxed. That's where I come in. In those workshops, we're going to look at those areas and we're going to 
We're going to fortify them. We're going to make them better. We're going to make them stronger. And we're going to make it more relaxed so that you're real comfortable. What do you think of that, guys? You like that? Hey, Craig. Good to see you. Hank from Denver. Good to see Hey, da David Grand. Good to see you again from Haines City. Come see the place, Gr David. Man, where do you see this place? It's changed so much since when you were here years ago. Uh, so, hey, Gary, good to see you. Gary Hartman, I don't got any answers on that. Tell me what you think about that in the, in the comments, guys. Let me know if you like put worker series, if you like the idea. Now, I'm going to show different, I'm going to, like, for, let me play it right now. Okay, this would, this would be the effect that we would do in a worker series. You would get this D DVD, you would have it, and then it would come with, we'd send it to you, and then we would have this workshop. We'd have a watch party, right? We'd all get together, we'd all watch it, we'd watch the routine, and I would already have picked out areas on that instructional DVD that I want you to, to focus on before we got together again, because a routine like this that you're about to see is going to take a little bit of practice, right? But I can, I can tell you right now, it's not going to take a lot. But what it will take is the proper blocking, the proper pace, and the proper relaxed handling and natural communication skill that goes with the routine. But it's a good one. And there's things that you can attach this to. So this is it right here. Check it out. Let me know what you think, guys. It's Attilio with Theater Magic. That was a routine by Patrick Kuhn called Invisible Hands. And he has a DVD that lays out that complete routine. Now, if you would be interested in learning that, I have a worker series that I'm going to be doing. And so everyone that gets that particular DVD from us at Theater Magic, it will include a worker workshop, which is awesome. Because then by the time you get it, and then you have time, you spend time with it, then we have the workshop and you come in and I, you can even send me a video prior so that I can look at it. This way, you get that personal attention at the end when you are ready to almost get ready to perform it. You get those final touches. We can whittle out all the extra and maybe smooth out the edges and sand it down and make it look absolutely beautiful. This is the full trailer. So if you're interested, this is the full routine, but we're going to do a worker series. It's going to involve quite a few others. When you get this at Theater Magic, it's the artist showcase coming to the Theater Magic website. We're building that now. And once we go live, we're going to be doing this worker series. Let me know if in the comments, if you'd be interested in something like this, this is where you learn this effect, you get the product. Patrick Kuhn's DVD and then after about maybe a couple weeks we would have a workshop you would have already learned it and then we would get together and work on it together so here's the full trailer And it's Wouldn't that be a good routine to learn? It's Invisible Hands by Patrick Kuhn. Not only will you get the DVD, you'll get my personal training in a Zoom session. And everybody that gets this will be in there together. We'll do two sessions after you get it, after you learn it. You have any questions, you can message me up until the time we have the actual workshop. This way you can maybe send me a video of you performing it so I know what I need to help you with. And then I will help you get that routine smooth relaxed. I'll show you all the practicing techniques I use to work out all the bugs, 
you'll enjoy this. If you're interested in this, let me know in the comments. Stick around. We got a lot more coming. And don't miss tonight. We have the Monday Night Magic special. We'll see you next time here on Theater Magic Live. Yeah, so that is something that I have planned. Now, I have some other cool things like, for instance, cups and balls. Who here said, put me in the, put cups and balls or put me in the comments if you would be interested in learning a killer cups and ball routine. Now, this would be a worker series that would involve a lot more work. This would be over a period of maybe five weeks. And at the end of five weeks, guys, if we met every week for five weeks and I gave you the routine, the, the artist's routine, his DVD, right? You get the DVD. We have a watch party on the first workshop. I show you, we, we look at it, we talk about it, and then I point out all the different compartments that we're going to go through and how we're going to learn this. And together, we're all going to learn this un believable cup and ball routine by I mean it's proven now you can change it any way you want but I have a routine in mind okay let's say let's say it was uh, Tommy Wonders cups and balls he's got a great cups and balls routine how about Michael Amar he's got a great cups and balls routine how about Dave Vernon's he's got a great cups and balls Charlie Miller uh, I mean, those are old classic magicians that have still their solid routines. Or David Williamson. It's probably my favorite cups and balls routine. It's got some beautiful moves. And I'm thinking about that one. That's the one. So basically, everybody purchases David Williamson's DVD that has the cups and balls on it. Right? So the artist gets, it's his product. And then together, because everybody has it in the workshop, we get together and I help you with your handling on that particular routine. Tell me if you like that. Put me in the comments. Put me if, in the comments if you like that idea and you'd like to be a part of like something like that. Now, some of these, like for instance, Patrick Coons, we would probably only have to get together a couple times, right? But something like a David, a David Williamson cups and ball routine, I, I would want to spend at least five sessions with you to make sure that everybody's got it and everybody's on the same page, right? So this is something that I want to try, but I only want to do it if people are interested in it. And I see that some of you guys are liking that idea. Jerry, good to see you. Thank you. He says it sounds good. Gary Hartman, Scott Jennings. Hey, Scott, good to see you. Yeah, I think this is a good idea. I like it because there's so many cool routines out there and, and you know, I've been teaching magic for a long time, right? I've taught guys that went on and have professional careers, went on Penn and Teller. These guys have, I've worked with them. When I was at Universal Studios, they, they came there, I worked with them, and they'll tell you that in that training, they received a lot of really great handling technique advice. And it changed the way that they approach magic. So, I know that I'm gonna have that impact if you come into my workshop. I got my VIPs here. These guys have, last year we did a weekly workshop pretty much every week. And these guys came weekly and I showed them new effects. And these were just classics from Tarbell, Bobo, all the books that are out, Royal Road of Card Magic, different card magic books, coin magic books different things from my notes and just all kinds of effects. You can see a lot of them at theatermagic.com in the um, drop down menu in the School of Secrets. Inside the School of Secrets, we're gonna change that page by the way. Inside the School of Secrets is where we have our classes, courses, sessions and lessons, and soon to be a worker series. But the worker series is only gonna be live. It'll be in a Zoom setting, and uh, I'm excited about it. So let me show you one of the Dollar Magic Club deals today. Uh, here, this is called the Coin Cup Prediction. This, this routine, this is a three-phase routine. Think about it. It's 
It's added into your Theater Magic video library suite if you don't have it. My VIPs have this, and along with hundreds of others. But check this out. This is a cool routine. It's three phases. Impromptu can do it at any party. Imagine doing this after dinner this weekend with your family. Let's, uh, let's try a little, you ready? A little, friend, a little magic fun? We'll get into this in a minute. Okay, we're just yeah. gonna give these birds a little shuffle on. I'm just gonna select, just, uh, actually, let me just do this. Let me, let's make a selection from uh, one of those. Okay. okay. And let me do this, let me just, let me just take out, <clears throat> yeah, let me do this. Let me just set these aside. That's a prediction. Okay, that's a prediction. And and here we have, uh, I'm just going to give these cards a little shuffle. Okay? Let, me just, let me just mix them. Matter of fact, here, I want you to cut these cards and then hold them in your hand like this. Okay, can you do that? Okay. Just give them a cut. Sure. And uh, once you complete the cut, hold them in the dealer's position. You have that? I got it. Look at that. So good. Thank you. Right. Who's your teacher? You. Me? Okay. <laughs> just deal the card. Deal one card on the table. All right. One and another one. And another one. And then... Three more, how about that? Just put three cards on the table and then we'll eliminate it. And I'll have you just look at this top part. I'm gonna slide it over here like this so you can see it. Can you see it? Yes. Let me show the audio. Matter of fact, look at the bottom one. Can you remember both? I can remember both. I'm gonna try this, okay? You can see both? Okay, take these cards. Take these cards and hand me your cards. Okay. And then give your cards a little shuffle. Okay. Yeah, just give your cards a little shuffle. Okay. You remember your card? I remember. You still got it? Yes. Okay, let's try this. <laughs> You ready? Um, let me um, let me look at these cards and let's see. Hmm. Was one card a black card? One card was black. And was it a spade? It was a spade. Was it the five? It was the five. <laughs> okay, let's try. Let's try another one. Let me see. Um, was the other one wasn't black? Was it? It wasn't black. What's the suit? The suit was diamond. Diamond? Yes, sir. Was it the eight? It was the eight of diamonds. The eight of diamonds. <laughs> Thank you so much. Okay, now let's check this out. We have the five of spades and the eight of diamonds, right? Okay. All right, let's, if you add five and eight, what do you get? Thirteen. Exactly. Remember I made a prediction? Yes. Under the cup? Look at this. I have a penny. I have another penny. I have three pennies and this dime. Okay, that equals 13. 13. All right, let's put these away for now. Let's try, let's try another one. You ready for this? I'm ready for this. All right, um, let's see. I think, yeah, I think I've made my prediction. Let's, let's just, let me do this. Let me get uh, some more cards. We'll give them a little shuffle. Okay, we'll just give them a little shuffle. I'll cut them just like this. And if you would go ahead and cut the, complete the cut and hold the cards in your hand, the dealer. Is it actually the mechanics group? Mechanics Very good. Group. Okay, okay, place the deal one on the table. The one on the table. Yeah, and one underneath. And one underneath. And one on the table. And one on the table. And one underneath. And keep doing that until you have two cards left. Right. This is a process of elimination. <laughs> I'll do the show. Okay, you got okay. two cards. <laughs> I got two cards. You got two cards. I got Very cards. good. Okay, so let's see. We have uh, we have an ace and an eight. Okay. An ace and an eight. You know what they add up to? The ace is, a, is one, it's one, right? Eight is eight. And eight is eight. Very good. <laughs> so that's mine. You're, you're, you're impressing me. Every, every, look at this. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine coins. Eight and one is... Let me do, let's try this. Let me uh, let me deal cards here like this. We'll try something different. Okay. okay. Take these. Take this cup and place it on two a set of fours. Let me put these a little closer, and then you can put that here or here. You you decide where you want to put. It. Right here. Right. Okay. Now we've shuffled the cards, pulled out these selections. You, so you don't want to put it here with these four. Uh, here, no, right? I want that, yeah. There. Okay. So we'll eliminate these. And we're left with these four, yes? Okay. Check this out. I have a five and a six. Okay. Five and six equal? Eleven. Right. And four, 
15 and 3. 18. 18. So 18. Yes, These equal 5, 6, 4, and 7 equal 18. Check this out. I have 1 9. That equals 10. Okay. 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. 18. 18. All for you. Hold out your hand. Those are for you. Oh, if you put those under your pillow, they turn into teeth. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh. Cool. You have two front teeth for Christmas. You got all your Christmas gifts right. Oh, thank you. <laughs> Come on. That's unbelievable. This is a three-phase routine. Guys, it costs a dollar. It's at the Dollar Magic Club. Just go to bit.ly forward slash dollar magic club. I want to make my first million dollars. Come on. Well, it won't be my... Okay, so look, you guys. <clears throat> the Dollar Magic Club, my VIPs. Hey, Peter, good to see you. From Chattanooga. Good to see you back. And Jerry, yes, the VIP workshops. Now, guys, you guys that have my you guys are my VIPs that are here, you have that in the library. So if you didn't learn that one and you didn't get to perform that one, go learn it. It's easy. It's great. You can do it impromptu. And once you learn it once, it's easy to refresh your memory to go back to watch it. Just go over it again. You'll go, oh yeah, that's right. So that's what's cool about having the Theater Magic Video Library Suite because they're all on your phone. So you just have access from your phone. And as we build our VIPs, we're eventually going to have an app. You just click the app and you're in. And all the videos are there. So the, we have three videos. Here's another one. I did the Fantastic Four on the last... <laughs> before we got drowned out by Facebook. But if you want to see all the different Dollar Magic Club deals, just go to bit.ly forward slash Dollar Magic Club, or you can go into the link that's in the description. And I think the Dollar Magic Club is in that link. There's a link, it's uh, bit.ly forward slash Theater Magic in the description. When you click it, it'll take you to my like a link tree page and all my links are there. You got the Great Magic Hall, which reminds me, let's take a look at this place. We have the coolest place on the planet. I'm inside the Great Magic Hall. Guys, we do magic shows every day here, starting at 11 or 1 p.m. up until 9 p.m. We're about to do our last show of the day. We have the magic show. So come check it out next time you're visiting Orlando. Come see the magic show here at the Great Magic Hall. You're not going to want to miss it. And let me show you something new that we have. Look at this, guys. This is our palm card. This is a postcard that we had designed. And uh, here's the back. Check it out. This is the back. Look at that. There's the map on one side. Has all the different places. Universal Studios, Walt Disney World, Animal Kingdom, Epcot, SeaWorld, Gatorland. Old Town Fun Spot, and boom, we're right in the middle there, the Great Magic Hall. That's where you see the magic show, a magic show like no other. Now, let me just show you this. Now, these are four new signs, because we, we redid all the signage on the outside. We, have, we put all new signs out there. Okay, it looks really cool. But I've got three more, four more signs that we completed. Now, we, Jaffa and I spent a long time on this. We went back and forth, back and forth. I think we spent over a month until we went for print. We, we went, we got these printed today. These, these were sent to get printed. We'll be getting these uh, before the weekend, and then they might be up this weekend. But I'm really excited to see because we have different shows, okay? We have the, we have the Parlor Presents, this is a 15-minute show because we're in a place where there's a lot of rides, right? So they have roller coasters, Ferris wheel, they have merry-go-round. They got all these amusement rides here because we're tucked in with Fun Spot. Old Town and Fun Spot are neighbors. They work together. It's called the Old Town Fun Spot Theme Park Resort. It's a free theme park. It's free to get in, and then you, you know, and then you purchase whatever's here. There's rides and stuff like that. They're not free, but uh, it costs nothing to come into the. To, to the theme park. So we decided to do a $5 ticket. 
a $5 ticket because we're in a place where the rides are $5. People come here, they ride a bunch of rides, and they want to do a bunch of things. So we made an experience that's only 15 minutes. We have a 30-minute called The Magician Tonight. That's two tickets, two tickets for that show. And then we have the Grand Magic Tour, which is one hour. We go to all the rooms. There's five different theaters here, and you'll see an incredible a variety of magic, so different genres. That's three tickets. But for one ticket, you can see The Parlor Presents. It's a great 15 minutes, amazing. Here's the different signages that we got. See, these are gonna be on the windows of the doors. We got all the colors there. On one side, you'll have, like here, let me show you guys. See how these doors are in the front and the corner? There's two on one side, then there's two on the other. Right in the corner in the front, those, those, are gonna, those glass windows right there are gonna have these signs. On one side, you're gonna have the red and the blue, the red, the magic show and the five hour ticket. And on the other side, you'll have those other signs. But, you know, it's a way for us that gives something to people that visit here that, you know, have a party of seven people. They don't wanna spend $70 Right? They want to spend, they'll spend $5 a ticket. So we have a 15 minute show. We, we started doing this when we came out of lockdown. And it was a way that we could do a shorter show to get people, and we were like, let's keep this. This is cool. People love this. And then we have the other shows available too. So let me know what you think of those designs, guys. Here's the new designs here of those doors. I don't see any of the comments, what happened to them. Ah, there you are. Did I, are you guys still here with me? Give me some thumbs in the in the comments so I know that you got somebody's watching. I see there's people here, but I don't see any activity in the comments or anything. So just let me know that you're here. Hit some thumbs, hit some hearts. Say hello in the comments. Who's here? Let me know. Just say hello in the comments. I just want to make sure they're not blocking me again. They, oh, there we go. Hey, we got some action. Thank you. Thank you, Malcolm. Anybody else hear me out there other than Malcolm? Anybody in a, in a, a, near your screen, you can tap it. Give it a couple taps. There you go. Thank you, man. Yeah, the colors. See, this, this is gonna get people's attention. They're walking down the street. You'll see, I'll, I'll show you the picture. Once it goes up, I'll, show, I'll have the pictures you'll see. And, and hopefully it looks great. Because we, we use these colors. See, these colors are in our brand. The green, the red. These are the two signs that are out on the billboard out front. This billboard out front, I'll show you the video. In this video, it says the Great Magic Hall. This was before the new branding. So here it is here. Yeah, you see this, uh, that, that jukebox out front? It's up out front on 192 people there's a lot of traffic we're right outside of celebration florida and so those that jukebox we have these these signs in there you see these two and they switch they switch so we have a color changing sign and uh what i did was i i had to purchase two advertising spots to get that color change actually i didn't have to purchase it the deal was that I would get two spots for the price of one. Bingo. Anyway, uh, let's see. We'll go back to here. And I will show you this week's. Oh, check this out. This is cool. If you got scotch and soda, here's a very cool handling. It'll cost you a dollar, okay, for the tutorial. But check this out. This is really clever. It's uh, with a scotch and soda. This is a classic coin effect. Uh, these coins are precision made. We have them on our website at theatermagic.com if you want to get the class. But this was like a session that I did with the coins at one of my workshops and then I'm making just this available for one dollar at the Dollar Magic Club. Check it out. It's called the Scotch and Soda Flash. Everybody's familiar with uh, Scotch and Soda. Two coins, a copper coin, a silver coin. English penny, American half dollar. I'm going to take these two coins and I'm going to place them inside 
this piece of paper. I'm going to wrap them in nice and just keep them wrapped in there in full view. So we have the two coins wrapped inside that paper. Now I need somebody to name either silver or copper. So let's say they say silver, right? I like this. They say silver. Look at that. One coin has vanished. One coin has vanished. And all that's left is the silver coin. So the copper coin has vanished. Yet I have this piece of paper. What I like to do is, at this point, I'd have a candle. Wait, somebody's audio is on. Make sure the sound is it. Come, it's in the editing. It's really kind of annoying. Okay, so now you have the one of the coins vanishing, and you have this left. So when you light this, and it flares up, you could have a candle, and you also light the candle. Right, with the same match. So you don't have to light a match again. And then you can say, look, let me show you where the copper coin is. You go to pick up this piece of paper, you light it, and there's the copper coin. Everybody's familiar with Yeah, so there you go. That's called the scotch and soda flash. So we'll take, you know, in our workshops at the VIP, uh, we did all we did a workshop every week, and in those workshops, I would do so many different effects, uh, and then I would edit them and put them in their library, so they would be every week new and new and new. And at the end of the year, it was completely filled up. And when we get time, we'll start doing the workshops again. Those guys got lifetime membership, so if you're interested in that. Just let me know and I'll reach out and I'll give you an introduction to what it is. It's really cool. You have access to a ton of material. Lifetime, there's no annual fee. It's a one-time fee. Uh, we used to, we broke it down in the weekly, if you, if for, uh, but uh, that is open and available for anybody. Thank you guys. It's good to see you guys tonight. Thanks for coming in and appreciate you guys being here. Uh, let's see. I'm going to play this week's special. Um, every week I have a class. This one's regularly $22. It's $14. And it's our weekly special. It's McDonald Aces. Now, this, these videos, some of these videos were taken a few years back. So you'll, you'll notice a, a difference. I'm, I'm grayer. Packet tricks have always been a staple in every magician's bag of tricks, and this is an absolute amazing effect. It's a favorite of mine for a very long time. It's done with 16 cards. Not 14, not 15, but exactly 16 cards. Let's count them out. We have one, two, three, four. Notice they are the four aces. We'll place these cards right there. So that's four. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 16. We're gonna play some of the cards in the hand face up, some cards face down, face up. I'm just mixing them up, face up and face down. We'll place the aces face down, the last cards will face up. The question is, are you paying attention? If I were to ask you if the aces were face up or face down, what would you say? Well, as you can see, they are face up. Stay focused. Okay, we're going to take the aces, the four of them. I'm going to place them across the table here. Place an ace of clubs there and a red card down here. And uh, these last two aces here. So that's four aces and three cards. That's one, two, three cards by each ace. Now, while I'm doing this, you're going to see the cards coming out face up, face down. But each ace gets three cards. All right. The question is... Red or black, name either color. Black. Spade or club? Spade. We're going to take the ace of spades and the three cards. I'm going to place them in this wallet that uh, was carrying the packet of cards from begin with, but we'll just put those four cards in, the ace of spades and the three in different cards. Here, let me show you something here. We have three cards and an ace. Now, here's where the magic begins. We're going to place the ace face down on the table. I'm going to wave these three cards over top, 
And just by simply waving them, you'll see that the ace vanishes. I have vanished one ace. That's the first ace, two to go. Let's see, we have one, two, three cards and the ace of diamonds. Now this time what we'll do is a little different. We're gonna take the ace of diamonds, place it face down among the three cards. Check it out, keep your eye on the ace. I'll just move it around a bit and you'll notice that it vanishes. So another ace vanishes from the pack. There's one remaining ace. Let's do it a little differently this time. We'll use the three cards and of course an ace, but this time we'll place these cards face down and keep that ace face up. Watch closely the face up ace. Just give the packet a shake. You'll notice that it turns face down. Now, the question is, is it face down or has it vanished? And indeed it has disappeared. Three aces vanishing. We have one ace remaining over here in the packet. Remember I placed it securely inside and I'll pull these cards out. There's no hidden compartments. You can examine that completely. No problem. Hand it out and you'll notice that there is indeed an ace and three cards. But these aces are now the vanishing, reappearing McDonald aces. This is a great bit of classic close-up magic, and it's easy enough for any beginner, especially because it comes with a DVD that teaches you exactly how to do it, exactly how the trick works, exactly how to do it, all the tricks, all the handling, plus it has a couple other methods of using these cards, so definitely you want to add this to your secret weapons, McDonald Aces. That's McDonald Aces, that routine right there that I did, I learned that from Frank Garcia, the man with the million dollar hands. He taught me that routine right there at Tannins on 1540 Broadway. He took the elevator up to the 15th floor when the doors opened, you were in the showroom of Tannins. There was magic everywhere. I was 15 years old. He was demoing behind the counter, and I, we purchased the, the, my cousin and I, we, we bought a ton of magic. I'll never forget being on top of the Empire State Building, and we were you know, wanting to look through uh, one of those little binocular things, and I reached in my pocket to pull out some change and I had to pull out all the bills, and we had just gotten out of Tannin, so I had all this money rolled up in my pockets. And I reached in, and, and a $20 bill. We, we both watched a $20 bill float out of my hand and over the fence, right? It was like slow motion. And then we put the coin in, and we just watched that $20 bill go down Broadway. <laughs> anyway, that's a true story. And if you want to get the magicians or uh, the McDonald Aces, which is a great routine, that's Frank Garcia's routine, and that is the handling that he taught me. And so you can get it. It's on sale this week for fourteen dollars plus free shipping anywhere in the United States. So let me know you're here, guys. Give me some thumbs and stuff like that. I I think you guys kind of I appreciate you guys being here. Thank you for your support. Thank you for that. Appreciate that. And um, I want to do some, let me see. I'll be, I'll be here tomorrow doing doubles. I'll, I'll be doing a double today. So I don't really have a lot. Of, if I go live, it's because maybe we didn't have a show. Um, so I, I plan on doing that more often uh, with, with little short lives, maybe three minutes, five minutes at the max. And just introducing different artist effects and things like this and, and doing a little talk. So when you see me go live and it's not the Monday Night Magic Special, these are gonna be like little, three little five, five minute uh, lives. Also, we'll be doing some more of the Secret Agenda. You'll see those come out. Those will be not live. Those will be recorded. So you'll see these different programs starting to come into the feed and they'll start to make an appearance even before I announce them as far as launching or premiering. I just, I just wanna get into putting the content flow in my work week. And so I have a pretty good schedule right now. 
I, I like the schedule that I have. Uh, I have off Wednesday night and Sundays. The rest of the time, I'm talking the rest of the time. <laughs> okay? Even on Sunday, I work kind of like a half a day, a little bit. It's still different. It's not really work, but it is. Um, but the rest of the time, I'm always doing. So I'm here building some new things all the time. We have the St. Augustine, the Salon of Secrets opening in St. Augustine. We're finishing up all of the designs. We should be done all of the design work this week. So those will go all in the windows and stuff. We have all of the designs for that place. We, it's going to be great. I can't, I can't wait till the St. Augustine thing really starts rocking. Guys, we have, we'll have two cities. We have a magic theater. Think about this. How many place, how many magic theaters are there in the world right now that do shows every day except Christmas and Thanksgiving? Okay, so I'm really kind of grateful to have the opportunity to do this because when people come here, and see this show, they love it. Right now there's a show going on, the nine o'clock show. Okay, Jaffo's in there doing the nine o'clock show. These people are gonna get, they're get, their jaws are on the ground right now. Their jaws are on the ground. <laughs> it's great. Kids, it's so much fun. Guys, magic is just so much fun. And I, I am so grateful to have a place to come to every day and do, look at this. You should, man, I gotta give you guys a tour. This place is unbelievable. And um, we're gonna get, we're gonna be doing a lot more stuff here online uh, with workshops and lectures and things like that. So if you want to learn magic and get some really interesting uh, perspectives on practicing magic, this is very important. Practicing magic. You know what? If you're not a magician unless you love to practice, the thing that's great about magic is that you can just kind of go go somewhere. You know, you're just relaxed. You go into a room, shut out everything, stay focused, and develop a new shuffle, right? Or a, a, a new count. Right? This is what we do. This is what this is what we're here for. This is the Theater Magic School of Secrets. Any of my VIPs need any help, you guys can reach out anytime. You know it. We're here every week on Monday nights for the Monday Night Magic Special. We launch our new dollar deals, right? bit.ly forward slash dollar magic club. So we have the dollar magic club deals. And uh, we also do the weekly special. This week is McDonald Aces. So uh, you can go to the, uh, to, get the ma to get the McDonald Aces, you go to theatermagic.com and go to the drop down menu, look for School of Secrets. In the School of Secrets is where the courses, classes, sessions is all there. Click classes, because that one's a class. Comes with the props. All the classes come with the props. The section, sessions are tutorials that come with no props, just the tutorial. And my VIPs have all of the sessions that are there, but there's probably another hundred that aren't even on the page. They're not even on the page. Matter of fact, I think I have like this, the Scotch and Soda Flash is not on the page available. It's only available this week for a dollar. After that, you can't get it. You have to be a VIP to get it. Okay? So we'll see you next week. Thank you so much for coming, guys. Appreciate you coming in. I got the best lasagna in the oven right now. <laughs> My wife is the best cook. Yesterday, she made a lasagna to die for. So I've got some leftovers. I'm going to go to that. I'm so hungry. I I hope you guys have a great week and a great night. Thank you so much for joining me. We'll see you next time here for the Monday Night Magic Special.